Currently it's set at 10 milliamps per division. It's tied to channel 2 of the oscilloscope. Channel 1 of the oscilloscope ties to two 10 dB attenuators for mini circuits. We go to the output of our test jig. The input of the test jig which goes to the output of our power amplifier. Power amplifier is then driven by our RF generator, currently set to 80 megahertz. Scope is set to 50 millivolts per division on both scales. You can see it wafting around a little bit, but roughly there's 50 millivolts on each channel. So again, with the probe set at 10 milliamps on a 50 millivolt per division, 50 millivolts is equal to 10 milliamps. So 50 millivolts is 10 milliamps. So 10 milliamps at 50 ohms. It's going to be a half a volt divided by 10 off of our 20 dB attenuator. This gives us a divide by 10. So half a volt gives us 50 millivolts. So at least at 80 megahertz, uh, the probe appears to be working okay. With everything set the same, increasing the amplitude to 100 millivolts, again it appears to be quite linear. Using the 20 milliamps per division setting. See our probe now is putting out about 132 millivolts versus 161. Coming out of our 20 dB attenuator. So 132 millivolts divided by 50 millivolts times 20 gives us 52.8 milliamps. Times that by 50 ohms gives us 2.64 volts. Again, the probe appears to be quite linear. We'll go ahead and increase this a little further. Connected the output of the jig. We have a 3 dB attenuator connected to two 10 dB attenuators. Looking on channel 1, we have 1.3 volts peak to peak. Currently the current probe is set to 50 milliamps per division. At 50 millivolts per division, or a 1 to 1. Again, at the output of trace 2, and this is our current probe. You can see we have a peak to peak of 387 millivolts. Again, we're at 80 megahertz. So, again, currently there's an amplifier with the current probe. We have a 3 dB attenuator followed by two tens connected to our 51 probe. So, 23 dB total. Gives us a 0 0.0707 divide ratio. We measured roughly 384 millivolts peak to peak. Again, the current probe is set to 50 milliamps at 50 millivolts per division. So 384 millivolts peak to peak is 350 is 384 milliamps peak to peak. Times 50 ohms gives us 19.2 volts peak to peak. Uh, 19.2 volts peak to peak equates roughly to 921 milliwatts average. 19.2 times 0 0.0707 gives us 1.35 volts peak to peak. So the numbers work out roughly again okay. So at least for the current probe measuring in this range it still appears to be okay. Unfortunately, this is about the limit of what I can test. I don't have an amplifier that will put on any more current than this.